Good day everyone and welcome to Exile News, the weekly show that brings you all the important news and information on Path of Exile. And the first news we got this week has been a lot of concept arts for Kitava the Ravenous, which is most likely the main boss of the game. And there's also concept arts for his minions, maybe his moves and all the kind of stuff. Not gonna scroll down too much because that might be a spoiler for some of you, but if you are interested definitely check this post out, of course I'll put the link in the description below. Also, the two week turmoil event is going to start tomorrow, the time that's uh, written here is displayed in your local time, so if you want to know exactly when it starts I recommend you checking this post out. Other than that, what is the turmoil event? Basically, uh, every hour the game will choose one of the league mods and it will be amplified by 5, so if you choose Domination, or if the game chooses Domination, you will find 5 Shrines, if it chooses Ambush, you will find 5 Loot Boxes, and all that kind of stuff. Sadly, I don't think there is, like, Tempest, which will be really, really interesting, having, like, 5 Tempests on at the same time. But still, uh, it's definitely something interesting for people to do, if they're done with the Legacy Leagues, and they don't really want to play Standard, but they still want to play the game. Also the beta is still going on at the same time and we actually got a first reveal of a new skill which is probably not going to be the last but still the new skill is called Stormbust and it's a lightning skill clearly. As you can see it shoots these lightning balls very quickly in succession and it's a channel skill so when uh, you end the channeling these balls explode when you see the lightning coming down from the sky and they deal, as you can see here, they deal area damage and most of the damage seems to be from the explosion as GGG tells here however, uh, it's channel skill so you can also use cast while channeling and create all kind of builds, you can also use GMP shorter projectile, slower projectile and that kind of stuff So. You can definitely customize this skill a lot. Looks a bit like ball lightning, uh, but it also looks very interesting. Definitely, it's going to be usable for some kind of build. And yep, can't wait to see how strong this can be and how bursty it can actually be. It lo definitely looks pretty good from the video. Uh, maybe it's just uh, a character with a lot of cast speed, but if it's this fast, just like that, well then that is going to be really really interesting. But anyway, we also got the fifth beta weekly report, which means that the beta is going on for over a month now, and the third wave of improvements has been added, which actually included the performance improvement we saw last week. Also, the Pierce changes have been added as well, so we'll have to see how those go where basically GG removed the 100% chance to pierce and a lot of piercing things now add projectiles pierce X number of enemies. I don't think that's going to kill Val's Park, but we'll have to see about that. Also, the early tutorial system is going to be improved, but that's going to be for the future. The Labyrinth is also on the improvement way, however, uh, GG is not focusing on that because it's not really uh, the most important thing right now. And there's also going to be a new wave of patches. It's going to be in 10 to 15 days and it's going to focus on balance and builds. Also, it will include new things, new little things, or maybe not so little, that GG has been working on, something like the new bleed keystone, which, well, might be big, might be not very interesting. It's definitely going to be interesting, let's not kid ourselves. But still, uh, very interesting things are coming and uh, well, we're getting closer and closer to the supposed uh, launch date which is going to be in August, maybe mid-month, we'll have to see about that. But anyway, that was all for this week, if you enjoyed the video leave a like and a comment down below. Also, if you want to remain updated every week, be sure to subscribe to my channel. So that was all, I've been your host Zordzom and I'll see you guys the next time.